hello guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be talking about everything you need to know to get started with figma auto layout and if you're new to figma or auto layout this video is definitely for you if you're also looking to improve your skill in auto layout this video is definitely for you as i'm going to be going through the basics to the complex stuff and also the new stuffs as we are all aware that figma has made some very exciting changes and updates to figma's auto layout so let's get right into the video to apply the knowledge we learn here we are going to design this little card you see on your screen right here and i hope you learn something from that i'm going to write the text and hit shift a to create an auto layout on the text as you can see there's a default padding around the text i'm just going to position it properly and zoom in so that you guys have a better view i'm going to fill the frame with a white color because auto layout is basically a frame and you can apply color styles and other styles to it the major difference is it arranges its elements in a certain order as you can see here i've dragged this trash can icon into the auto layout and it automatically positions it according to the current auto layout settings the spacing around the items in the auto layout makes you adjust the padding and to control the padding between all sides simultaneously you hold shift and alt then click and drag to increase and reduce the padding simultaneously another way you could do that is go to your control panel hold down command and click on one of the padding sections it's going to give you just one padding field where you can put in a specific figure for all four sides and to be honest i prefer the way it was done in the old versions of figma where you have just one padding field for all four sides now the left and right padding field have been separated from the top and bottom padding field and we have to hit command then click on one of the fields to get all four sides all the time so as you can see here i've increased the length of the frame and the contents have been aligned to the center of the frame I'm also going to click these three dots here and click on spacing mode and i'm going to click on space between to apply a default space between this separates the elements of the frame with an equal spacing between them i'm going to revert the option back to packed as you can see the elements are now together i'm then going to go to the sizing section of the controls and i'm going to click on the width size and i'm going to click on hog content this by default allows the frame to fit perfectly with the size of its content and of course you can also give it a fixed value i'm going to go to the height i'm going to give it a fixed height this enables you to edit the exact value in which you want to put in just like the way i did here and there's a lot more you could do um i would suggest you play around with some of these just so you get familiar with i'm it. going to increase the size of this frame so i can just show you exactly how this positioning works um, you can position your content in different um, exact spots on the frame and you can also change the direction to either the vertical or the horizontal direction so the next thing i'm going to talk about is actually a new update um, this is actually one of my favorites of all figma updates recently which is the figma's auto layout absolute positioning i absolutely love it and I can't wait to start using it there have been a lot of use cases where i have imagined that figma comes up with a feature like this because there have been a lot of times where you want to actually position an item in an auto layout frame but then you don't want to just use the default arrangement that have been given by auto layout you also want to be able to float your elements around in an auto layout frame so to show you guys how really cool this is i'm just going to create this notification button very quickly i'm just going to add a stroke to it um with the radiance i've also added these little dots that indicates probably a new notification i'm just going to click and drag it among the other elements in the auto layout button that i just created as you can see it's just aligning to the default arrangements of auto layout but i want to change this so i'm just going to click on this little button here that says absolute positioning once i click on it you will see that it have been detached from the default arrangement and you can float this particular element around the frame this is so cool and i don't know if i'm using this properly i don't know if there's any button that looks like this actually but i'm very sure you will know how to use it better than me there is so much you can do with this um there's also something called constraints on your panel on your control panel you can see there is a constraint that says left and 
and top so that means your your element is going to be is going to be pushing positioned in the left top of the frame as you can see while i increase the size of the frame that particular element still stays in that particular left top position of the frame and you can also change this i'm just going to put this in the right so you can see and i'm going to go to the constraints and make it top right so as you can see if i click and drag the frame that element still remains in the top right corner of the frame and that is how you can use constraints you can also play around with it to get better on how to use it now to the last part of the video where we are going to be creating this card with complete auto layout um the first thing i'm going to do is to write the title of the card once i'm done with that the next thing to do will be to create this icon section right here so i'm going to go to where we have our icons and i'm going to drag an instance of our icon down here the first icon we'll be picking is this chart icon i'm just going to click on the text and write the text before it um, which is probably the amount of messages in the task or something and once i'm done with the text i'm going to select the text and also select the icon and hit shift a to create an auto layout between them then next thing i'm going to do is to duplicate these sets of items for the second and also the third icon section as soon as i'm done setting up all these icons i'm going to select all three of them and hit shift a between them to create an auto layout i'm also going to go to the control section i'm going to hold down command and click to add a specific value to all four sides of the padding the next thing i'm going to do is to select this section and also select the title section and hit shift a to give it an auto layout i'm also going to go ahead to reduce the size of the text field and i'm going to apply a field to it so that we can have a better visuals of what we are doing i'm also going to go ahead and apply padding to all four sides and i'm also going to go ahead to make a couple of adjustments to the card's title so guys the next thing i'm going to talk about is also a new feature and it's called negative spacing basically what it does it lets you stack your elements on each other in an auto layout frame and this is achievable by giving the spacing between your elements a negative value or holding the notch and dragging it down until it gets to a negative value so one way you could do this is just as you've seen you click on the notch in between them and drag or you could just go to your control panel and go to the spacing section and give it a negative value just like you've seen here and it basically stacks your item in ascending order in the previous version it usually stacks items in descending order but the new updates make you stacks your item in ascending order another cool thing you could do is to reverse the stacking option or the stacking order of the items in this auto layout frame so it's also a new feature it's called canvas stacking to use this you click on the three dots and come to canvas stacking here as you can see it has two options first on top and last on top and you can choose your preferred option in my case i'm going with the other option just because i want the add button to be the most obvious button so it implies that you can add a new user or team member to the team so i'm just going to give this pattern between them and i'm going to shove it into our auto layout frame that we've been creating initially so i'm going to select the icon section and the title section i'm going to give it a different auto layout section and i'm going to leave the team members section all by itself the next thing i'm going to do is to just like we've seen in the card we are copying bring in an instance of our button so i'm just going to drag our button down inside the card and as you can see because the default direction is vertical arrangement all items are arranged vertically so i'm just going to click on the avatar section and the button and create a different auto layout frame so i'm going to also change the direction to a horizontal direction where we have the card on the left and the button on the right and you can see it's aligned top i'm going to align it to the center so that all items are horizontally aligned perfectly i also want that section to span full width of the card so i'm going to go to the sizing section instead of hog i'm going to change that to fill container and you can see the frame is now filled 
in the container so i also want these two items to properly float left and right to the edge of that field section so i'm going to come to this auto layout settings and i'm going to change the spacing mode from packed to space between now you can see that both items are floated left and right the last thing i'm going to do is to bring in our image i'm going to click and drag our image in the card and as you can see the image fits perfectly in the card because it's going to use the default settings that the card items have been using so guys this is it basically you've designed an entire card completely with figma's auto layout i hope you guys learned a lot from this and as you can see the card is responsive i hope you guys learned a lot from this please do like share subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get more of my videos and most importantly just as you've known getting better at anything requires constant practicing um there's going to be a lot of use cases where you get introduced to new scenarios and new ways to do things so please keep practicing keep getting your hands on these things and with time i'm very sure everyone will become as good as they are supposed to be